This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 390 for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. So, hit me with your joke because I think today's a special day. Today's a special day. Okay, great. Well, you know, Facebook is a wonderful thing. Social media uh, allows you to get in touch with, um, you know, Friends from your past that you don't, you know, your, your friends from high school and stuff. Right. Well, I, I, I met up with a, a friend of mine that I knew in, a, in high school. Okay. And uh, he apparently went on, he went to uh, university, he got his degree, and then he proceeded on and he got a PhD in palindromic studies. His name is now Dr. Awkward. You're so cute that you think you're funny. <laughs> All right. Is today Dave's anniversary? I believe it is. Wow. Today? Seven years. Congratulations, Dave. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dave, our manager at the store, um, top-notch guy. He's, he's really the best. So we've been friends for, now I can actually say decades, so. Well, so this is the, the, this is this is a follow up from last week. Okay. Um, and I just want to um, just make this this quick announcement. Uh, that that you have not yet inked it. I, I actually I'm going to ink it today, guaranteed. Okay. Um, we have it on film. Twisby Draco, uh, first batch we had sold out within a few hours. Uh, we got another batch last week. Actually, it came early. I thought it was going to be Monday this week. I said Friday, and it was before that. Uh, it actually came on Thursday. So I know. Uh, we have we have one more uh, small batch of the Twisby Draco. That is so pretty. Is, do you a, have a fine nib left? What are you doing? I'm playing. Click, with... You're clicking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I was capping it. This is really pretty. With, it is I'm pretty. just going to ignore you with the rose gold trim. Yeah, you want one? We got one. I, I just fine, asked. Fine. Do you have a fine nib left? Yes, we do. Absolutely. Right. Well, it's a little, you know, it really reminds me of some of my old Aurora Optimus it does, yeah. a lot. It's got the classic kind of medium-sized marbling on it Yeah. Um, that I really like. Uh, you know, there's a lot of modern pens that will try to do a marble, but they'll do it in a really big, chunky pattern or something. And, and I'll grab one for you today That'd when be... I go, and you can have the fine nib. And let's make a bet on who inks their pen first. I'm going to ink mine in, in an hour. Okay. All right. Maybe less. So there are more available, <laughs> um, and uh, they're super cool. So if you wanted one, we have them. You know, we, we, we always kind of ridiculously joke about, oh, well, you're going to keep one, you're going to keep one of this. And, you know, and, and sometimes we do. You know, I, I did actually keep a Draco. But, you know, sometimes I don't. Like, you know, we had talked uh, earlier about some other um, some other brands, uh, and say, oh, are you going to keep one? Yes, I'm going to keep, you know, might, might grab a Lamy Ion. You know, and we kind of joke about that, but this one. What? I'm, <laughs> I'm all in on this one. I'm ready to pay you. <laughs> all right, I have that on, on film. The Sailor 110th Anniversary Pen. There mm. are two of the, um, I thought I closed that door. There are two different... <laughs> Uh, levels of pens. One is the premium, mm -hmm. which um, <clears throat> is very, very, very limited. And then... And, and very, 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 very expensive. Yes. Um, and then the, what do you want to call it? The regular? This, the, the, the regular, the standard, the standard yep. 110th. Uh, the Kirogane and the Kirogane and the Shirogane. Yes. Very at, good. I, think at, that's I was practicing. Yes. Um, so the Kirogane is black. And the Shirogane is stainless sterling, sterling silver. Sterling silver. Sterling silver. Um, yeah. These are crazy modern. It's it's a nice. I'm departure. blown away. Well, you know, I, I think a lot of folks. Sailor's been coming up with so many new releases in the last two years, and, and there's a little bit of uh, what's the word for it? You know, people are. It's like oh, it's another Sailor. This. Maybe fatigue. Fatigue, yeah. A little bit of sailor fatigue, and, and, and we've bantered that about here and there. A um, lot this, of pens, but this is this is not a 1911. No. It is not a pro gear. No. It is not a king of pen. No. It is completely different. It's crazy different in a really amazing way. Okay. Um, so what makes it amazing? It has a clear dome mm -hmm. at the top. Um, 
finial at the bottom. It's got a different logo. It's got a different trim band. Right. So these are all using the new Sailor font in the Sailor logo. Yes. So the anchor at the top um, is actually the new, the, the Sporty Spice version of the of the anchor. Um, and, and actually, so it's clipless. It is clipless. Yes. I know this is a deal breaker for a lot of people. However, they integrated a roll stop into the top of the cap. Yeah, very cool. It's super cool. And it doesn't look awkward and it just, it's really neat. Um, special 21 karat nib. Yes. This is a full size pen. It's not, it's not a standard. It's not a slim. It no, uses a 21 karat, the full size nib, but it's a special imprint. Yep. Special two-tone, 110. And it's a color yep. Yep, yep. Um, it says uh, since 1911 on it. Um, it's just everything about it is different yep. and fresh. And uh, don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with all of the gorgeous classic yeah. sailor pens. The 1911, classic shape. Everybody does it. So, you know, this there's is, something about this it. This is smart, though. And, and the Pro Gears, for those of us who, who prefer flat ends, mm -hmm. great design. But this thing is it's just cool. It's cool. cool. It's modern. And, and, and quite frankly, it's, it's smart that they did it this way because if they had come out with just yet another 1911 or a Pro Gear, I, you know, I think people go, well, okay. You know, like the, the pen of the year came out. It's a 1911. Well, I got a 1911. Do I right. need this pen? This you this need. one you need now. It, it's it's a little more expensive, mm -hmm. um, but it's 110th anniversary. They're limited. They're yes, numbered. They are, and I believe 1,100 pieces. Yes, yes. I was trying to remember where the serial number is. On it's the on the pen. bottom. Yes, on the it's bottom. on the bottom of the yes. of the barrel. Um, just everything about this is carefully thought out, carefully designed. Um, it's different enough to be like, wow, this is cool, but it's still all the classic elements you expect from Sailor. Yeah, yeah. And did I mention it's serialized? Sailor almost never serializes their pens, their limited editions. It's, this one, this one actually has a number. So, yes. um, let's let's talk a little bit more about when it's coming. Um, Sailor's anniversary actually is May twenty seventh. So. We're we're looking sometime in the May to June time frame yes. um, that this will be released. Um, we will have a very limited number. I think there are a total of maybe 150 of each uh, Shirogane or Kurogane uh, coming to the United States. So repeat that. There's 150 total Kurogane and Shirogane. So 150 of each color or 150 pens total? 150 Kurogane and divide that up amongst the four nibs, extra fine fine, Okay. Medium, fine, and broad. And then 150 so, Shirogane. Shirogane, which is the sterling silver version. Um, so a total of 300 pens, period. In the, in the US. United States, yeah. Um, they come in a nice bamboo box. Uh, the sterling comes in a nice protective sleeve. Uh, the the, the Kurogane's got that cool uh, black yeah. uh, finish on it. Um, they're both the same price, which surprised me. I expected the, uh, the sterling to be a little bit more. Uh, and these these are coming in around a thousand dollars street price. So this is yeah, this is this is kind of in that same uh, Meiji Maru uh, for Pilot's hundredth anniversary, these kind of that cool. same price point. These, so these are, are cool. these are great. You know, you don't have to be afraid to use these unless you drop pens and then your do sterling's you, going to get dented. Do you but have one of the Meiji Maru? I don't have a Meiji Maru. I do not. Okay. Um, and I didn't get one of the 105th anniversary sailors, so... Yeah, you're getting one of these. Yeah, I have a 90th anniversary, so maybe I, know, I should get the 90th cool. and the 110th, and that would be great. So And then 130, so we can wait 20 uh, more years. Well, 125 probably be a really okay. good one, yeah. All right. Um, but anyway, they're, they're, they're neat, um, very limited. Uh, we've got, our, we've got our, our order in. Whether or not we're going to get it or not, I have no idea. Yep. Um, it's exciting. I'm really, really stoked about this. I'm really, I'm seriously gonna, I'm gonna buy this one. I'm gonna give you money for it. Um, actually, I was gonna bring it here and get you on the camera, but uh, no, I, I, this is this is unique. Like I say, okay. if it had been a 1911 or even a King of Patterson, you go, well, you know, I don't need that. I've got the 90th. You or, know, kind of like when Lammy had their anniversary and it was just a different color, mm -hmm. and it wasn't even that different. Right. So. 
this is different. This yeah. is cool. If you are into any kind of a modern looking, this is this is just really yeah. And, and I'm going to warn you right now: the pens are heavy. They're heavier. Um, they're a little bit of a of a step there. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, they're a heavier pen than than what you're used to with Sailor. So we'll have to ch you know check the weights. But I think one of them comes in at, at 76 grams or something. I mean, it's it's a pretty beefy pen, but. Uh, very neat. So those are coming up. Stay tuned. Uh, we have them on the website. You can sign up for Bag and Stock. Uh, and um, there you go. They're going to be gorgeous. Estrabrook Gold Rush. Here it is. Oh, wait. They're shipping this week. Yes. So the Prospector Black and the Dreamer Purple. Um, these are part of the Diamond Cast. Uh, okay. The new versions of uh, the Diamond Cast material. Um, they do uh, a collaboration. Um, and they're pretty. They're real nice. They're really pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that black is cool. You know, they, they, so they come in. They come in the standard size, mm -hmm. and they also come in the oversized, which is very cool. Um, and uh, they're available in all the nibs. So extra fine, fine, medium, broad, one point one stub, or for an extra uh, upcharge, the, uh, the the journaler, the journaler uh, which is basically a, a stub, uh, a kind of a medium stub, um, and uh, and they are shipping this week to us. We okay. got them on pre-sale. So the distributor already has them, and they're shipping to us, or they're waiting for their stuff? They are, are getting it in late this week, and they're shipping it to So we'll, okay. we'll have it next week to ship out. Great. Um, it is a limited edition, uh, limited run. Um, you know, anything with sparkle is really cool. Yeah, they're nice. They're, they're a decent color. Um, so I, It's a good combination of colors. It's the right amount of sparkle without being, you know, glittery. Like, well, it know. is Gold Rush after all. So. I know, I know. So. Um, just very, very cool. Um, Estherbrook has done a really, really great job with um, being very intentional and very um, <laughs> careful with how they're doing things. And I just think that the all the different colors, there's nothing that we've had from them yeah, that, all, that all isn't gorgeous. They're all pretty good. Yeah. So um, those are coming out soon. You can actually pre-order them now. Uh, both colors, both sizes, uh, all the nibs. Next up, uh, Faber Castell. So let's talk sale. Let's talk sale uh, until tomorrow, the fifteenth. Uh, we have a couple more days left in the Faber Castell twenty percent off sale. So that's pretty much all pens and bottled ink. And I brought a few specimens here to talk about because we don't specimens. We, we haven't talked about these in a while. Um, I know. And, and, and we don't give Faber Castell a, a ton of love, and uh, but they make some really, really fantastic pens. They do. Um, I'm a big fan of the Ambition. It's a little bit thinner, and I like that in my hand. Um, they post. Uh, it's ooh, it clicked on there. It, it clicks on. Yeah, it snaps on. Nice, nice, solid post. So that when I post. write enthusiastically. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always afraid I'm going to hit you. I with am. That. You have before. That was intentional. Us, I'm sure. Um, I like the ambition. Uh, you know, the cool thing about Faber is that every year they come out with a new color. Yeah, for the op art. Series. Yes, for yep. the op art, which is mm -hmm. really great. Um, and then was it last year, the year before, they came out with the leaves? Yeah, so and they the did these, these 3D printed. Which is this leaf? Really uh, the leaves cool. is really great, and it's and it's lightweight. It's super lightweight. Um, actually, I almost don't need to post it, um, but a neat pattern. I love it. Um, the Croco's got a little bit of a, a dark dark brown. Yep. Whereas the leaves is definitely a black. Yeah. Uh, but Very a, cool. a neat pattern, and it's a neat. I think it's a neat way to combine um, somewhat modern technology with you know with the, with the writing instrument. I think it's yes. really really cool to finally see that. Um, to come out actually on a pen, so uh, from a major manufacturer. Yes. Because I know there are some people with 3D printing pens and right. doing all that kind of stuff, but from, from a major manufacturer, that's pretty super cool. Yep. Um, gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous ink colors. Some of our favorites are the uh, moss green, the hazelnut brown, the carbon, cobalt Carbon blue. black. Carbon black is a great black. Yep. Um, and then the ink. The bottle. Ink yeah, show the bottle. Yes. In fact, <laughs> we had... Skip, right, point of skip right over, out, over right? the whole bottle here. The deep sea green is a gorgeous teal. Um, the bottle, I think it looks like a man's cologne bottle or something. I, I'm not putting it on. 
you love it so Once. much. You love the bottle so much that you turned this into your shellac bottle because it has such a big wide yeah, base. Yeah, I mean, look at this base. This base is like half an inch thick. Uh, it's almost impossible to tip this over. I mean, you you tip over the, the table before you tip this thing over. But yeah, I have converted this uh, for my shellac. Uh, actually, you did it for me. Uh, for my shellac for repairs, and um, it's it's the best. So if you have an extra one you do repairs, keep that in mind because uh, all you have to do is take the cap off and then glue um, a brush on the inside of the cap. It was very complicated. And <laughs> and clean it out and fill <laughs> the shellac and you're good to go. So, a little brush, a little you glue. A hole? You drilled a hole in my cap? Anyway, uh, the bottles are great. The colors are fantastic. Colors are beautiful. Uh, gold blue is good. Um, I do like that moss green is great. Uh, the deep sea green, another one yep. of my favorites. All right. Um, but uh, you know, and I brought, I brought in addition to the ambitions, I also brought some emotions. You know, we, we talk about the looms every once in a while, and everybody's familiar with those. But this not, is cool. Not, not everybody's familiar with the, the emotion. This is a heavy pen. Uh, it's all metal, um, but it has a very unique design. Uh, it comes in two colors: the silver and the black. Or in the black. I kind of like the uh, the silver better because you can actually see uh, some of the highlights better. The knurling. The, the knurling, uh, <laughs> the, the lines on the cap here, uh, it gives you a better idea of what's really going on with this pen. Uh, it has this great clip, and I love clips like this that are intentionally designed to assist in, in the, getting in your pocket. In the, oh, that would look great in, in here. The pocket That's a bullet point, though. Um, <laughs> here's a fountain pen. Uh, look at that. See? One, one, one shot. Movement. Um, the black one's got a black black nib. These are steel nibs. Uh, nice, heavy, got a nice texture on the barrel. It's definitely a, a girthier pen, definitely a heavier pen. And then it, it, it actually it posts really nice. Um, and the weight really balances kind of right in here. So it's a little bit high it's a big ass on, pen. on the balance, but uh, it's nice. It's short, it doesn't post long. Um, really, really nice looking pen. The ballpoint is super cool, actually, because... Except you don't want it in your well, pocket. Well, I don't want it in my pocket, yeah. I want a fountain pen there. But you could, you just turn the top, yes. and it comes out, and it has a very nice mo uh, movement in there. Very smooth in a solid chunk when you get the, the refill but, out. But definitely a very interesting look, um, a great feel. I love a pen that has a little bit of texture, especially on a metal pen, mm -hmm. because if you're writing for a long time or if you grip a little hard, um, you know, sometimes they, they can get a little a little sweaty. Yeah. And so this with a little texture is wonderful. It's a great pen. So, uh, Faber-Castell E-Motion. It makes a good weapon. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, you still got you still got two days uh, to go on that 20% off sale. Faber-Castell doesn't have sales very often. Usually one on Black Friday and sometimes one in the spring. Yeah. So, um, Definitely take advantage of it while you can get something on sale. Yeah, yeah cuz uh, big advocate of the they're, sale. They're never never on sale. So uh, Faber Castell through tomorrow the 15th. Fox blood. New Girologio. Now, this is my personal favorite pen case. The portfolio. The the portfolio. I love that it holds 12 pens. Um, I love how slim it is. And so when I put this in my tote to take back and forth to work, um, it's not a big, chunky, you know, this is also a 12 pen case. But it's twice as thick. Yes. Yeah. Um, some people prefer these. I really love this. Um, yeah. It's also got a little pocket here, and so I like to tuck in some business cards, some um, index cards. Unfinished love letters to your husband. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I always finish those. Oh, okay. um, <clears throat> but I just love that I can see the top of everything. And um, yeah, so that, that, that that's the, my personal favorite. That's the big difference there, right? Yes. Because on the portfolio, you're really only going to see the top yes. of the pen. On the, the standard 12, you're going to see the whole pen, like the double this loops. This is, uh, yeah, this is a 12 in ox blood. Um, you, you'll, see the, you'll see the double loop, so you yes. can actually see more of the pen on this one. But... Uh, if you need something slim, it fits great in a backpack. This is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Now you have had the Franklin Kristoff pen folio, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and it is significantly bigger. It's, yeah, it's a it's a thirteen, and it's got a little bit more space and a little bit more bulk. Yes, yeah, but I've been using that, and it's this is basically a copy of that. Yes, um, I but I love this. So yeah, I've been I using really one like for, the Oxblood. for years. That's Magnetic cool. closure. Yes, which is um, wonderful. Um, we, we should mention on this, very, very large pens or pens that have a clip 
that is attached low on the cap do not fit well. This The magnetic closure won't close because obviously it has to come over the top. Right. Now, it is designed to fit a Mont Blanc 149. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So it will fit larger pens, but if you have too many that are taller, you can fit one or two, uh, especially if you put them on the On the outside, sides or in the middle or something. Um, but if you've got you know, 12 oversized tall pens, this may not close yeah. properly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that is not. probably the only caveat to this, yeah. but yeah. I do But if you got, it. you know, you, you used to have, uh, you put all your Progress Slims in there and they fit Oh yeah, perfectly. in my yeah. 1911s. 1911s and some larges. Yeah, so um, that's just the only caveat I like to mention yes. about that one. So we got Oxblood in, in both 12 sizes, uh, the standard 12 zippered, the 12 portfolio. Um, in a single. In a single, that's cute, yep. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a uh, nice. Now it's the, shiny kind of leather too. I was just going to say that. The other thing is there's a shiny finish as opposed to the kind of matte or more natural finish on a lot of the other. Um, it's a similar finish to the black. To the black, yeah. If you're, mm -hmm. if yep. you're familiar with the, the black in their drill. Yeah, and, and those are very super durable. We've, we've been using um, the black 48s. Uh, we took them to, I took them to probably over 100 pen shows. And you can tell I've used them. But they're, they Still really amazing. hold up. And, and if they hold up to that. So Saddle Tan um, is more of this natural, soft finish. I've got it in the 12 portfolio. What do you got there, a four? I have the four, the 12 zip. So this has got uh, brown. So the Saddle Tan, the Saddle Brown, is definitely a lighter tan and has more of a distressed finish. Yeah. Um, and so I'll make sure that there is a comment about that in the description. Oh, it's soft though. It's really soft. It is very really soft, soft. Very. Um, it's gonna. It's gonna weather interestingly. I think. Yeah. I think these yeah. are gonna be really cool. But uh, there are. They're not scratches. These are not damaged. These are nothing like that. But it, there is a distressed finish <laughs> mm -hmm. to it, um, and these are definitely lighter than the bomber tan that we have or bomber brown or anything like that. So these are probably the lightest Yeah, of, they're definitely the lightest. Of everything. Absolutely, yeah. But pretty color. Yeah. All right, next up, Bomber Brown. All right. So. I'm confused. The Bomber has, at least on this portfolio, we've got the nice, the plaid, the plaid lining. So it's a little bit darker. Okay. More of a, what would you guess, more of a chocolate? Yeah, kind a, of a, a milk, milk chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, uh, a soft feel to it. Um, you can actually almost, you know, almost feel it. Almost that. velvety. Almost velvety. So the, the other thing is that we have, um, that the Bomber Brown comes in a variety of shades. Yes. So, There's a range, apparently. Yeah. This is Bomber, this is Bomber, and this is Bomber. Um, I'm not quite sure why. But uh, it's it's just I guess dye lots and uh, the tanning process, yep. and so um, there will be variation, and I don't know that we uh, will have any control over what comes in. No. Um, and so just understand that there will be a bit of a variance in the color. Yeah. So this one, this one's a little bit darker. Yeah, as opposed um, to this. And this one actually looks a little bit more distressed, even even still. Mm -hmm. Uh, but neat, neat color. Um, actually, will probably weather just even a little bit better than the saddle brown because of the, the dark, dark yeah. uh, color to it. Um, but real nice, real nice. So a couple new options for you in uh, in Girologio for yep. some leather. If you don't like black, black or brown, now you, know, you have some different. They've got some options. This, this one, I think, color. this one's going to be really popular. I am going to be so glad when next week comes. <laughs> I'm, I have never be more glad. It's two weeks. Yes, but my, my deadline... Oh, okay. Uh, so we're talking about the Vintage Virtual Pen Show. My deadline is next Tuesday, the 20th. Oh, to get everything done? Yes. Oh. So whatever's restored by Tuesday morning, the 20th, is all there's going to be. So he says. I'm up to about 100 and 140 pens that I've, I've restored since uh, we, we started talking about this. Um, and uh, you, you can't tell. If you knew where the death sets were, I mean, if you go to the store, you can't tell. I plucked almost 30 death sets out. So uh, we got another batch this week. I, um, I finished up another batch of uh, death sets. 
uh, mostly Estabrook, uh, but some Dipless this time. Uh, there's also a double, uh, some stuff that's new in the box, uh, a Parker 51 Vacumatic desk pen, which is cool. cool. That's a super cool pen. Um, and also uh, some 51s we did, 51 Vacs uh, that we finished up last week. Uh, there are a new batch of, uh, another batch of 20 uh, Japanese pens and some really, really cute These patterns. These are just damn adorable. Um, so uh, well, a couple things we should yes. mention. Uh, Vintage Virtual Pen Show uh, on the 29th of this month, so two weeks from tomorrow, um, we're going to have an in-store event. Woo. So all of the local folks or anybody who wants to travel up to our Appleton store, uh, we will have them available for you first. Yes. Um, so uh, do, uh, do stop by or plan to stop by. Uh, they will be available from noon until 7 p.m. So we're going to stay open late on that Thursday, the 29th. Um, and, 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 and I say noon because before noon, well, the store's open at 9.30. Uh, before noon, we've got to get our shipping done. Yes. And um, so none of these will be out or yeah, available I'm, until I'm noon. literally not going to, not going to take them out of their cases until 11.50, uh, and plunk them on the, on the counter. Uh, so, uh, in-store event on the 29th, mm -hmm. uh, everything will be available. And, uh, we're also on that day for, for online folks, we're going to launch, uh, the preview video. So we're going to go through, uh, we're going to chop it up into brands so you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing, but we're going to take five, 10 seconds and just briefly go through every pen. So you can get kind of an idea. Poor Justin has no idea what he's getting into. <laughs> you can get an idea uh, of what's going to be available because on Friday the 30th, uh, we are launching them online roughly around 9 a.m. Central. Central time. 9 a.m. Central time. They will be available for purchase. Whatever uh, is left over from the event uh, will be available on the website at 9 a.m. on the 30th. And all of it will, will be released at the same time. Yes. So yes. Um, more people will have a fighting chance at something. Yeah. Yes. But they're, these are all one-offs. They're one-offs. They're absolutely. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's one of this, clearly one of only one of each. So a um, couple things just to keep in mind. If you can't make it to the store, uh, of course, if you can make it to the store, you know, you're welcome to try uh, the nibs and do everything that you normally would. If you can't make it to the store and you're interested in the event on the 30th, uh, if there's anything else you need that you're gonna, that you're gonna bundle in, because um, keep, in, keep in mind, we do free shipping over 50 bucks, and a lot of these pens, there's not gonna be too much that's under 50. Right. Uh, so any pen you buy is gonna qualify for free shipping. So if you needed a notebook, you needed a bottle of ink, you needed something else, uh, make sure you're signed into your account. And if you don't have an account, I highly recommend to do it. And put all those extras put in your stuff cart in there. because as much as we're going to release, you know, a couple hundred pens and desk sets, they are all onesies. Yeah. And so if somebody is also looking at the same pen you are and you put it in your cart and then you go to add your ink and your cartridges and your converter and your notebook, it could be gone by the time you check out. Yeah, our, so if, our, our cart does not does not hold the inventory. So until the processing goes through. It's available <clears> to anybody. It's available to anyone. And, and I know some people really, really want that to happen, but uh, having having product taken out of a cart can be can be problematic. So um, they're available until they're, they're paid for. Until somebody, <clears throat> right, first money. So get your stuff in. Um, make sure you signed in to your, to your AP account. And uh, if there's something you're interested in, definitely check out the video on the 29th. That will give you an idea of what to look for, where mm -hmm. to go, which one you're interested in. Um, and the give nice, you the best chance. The nice thing with the video is you'll be able to stop and then write down, okay, Parker 21 red set and have an idea of what you want to search for yeah. when it's released on the 30th. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, that's my advice. Uh, and make sure to sign up for the newsletter because we will send a newsletter out. We, we usually make things live a few minutes before the newsletter. So, uh, but once you get the newsletter, everything will be ready and raring to go. Great. So, all right. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Uh, follow our blog for news, uh, ink reviews, and all sorts of other information. And uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Um, and uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.